We're waiting in line. All right, guys. Well, we're pretty much just gonna start off fishing here around all these pilings. There's a bunch of them, guys. There we go, guys. I finally got something. What do we got here? You guys are. What do we got here? That's something nice. This is probably gonna be the tastiest uh, quick snack I've done in a good minute. So. What's up guys, your boy Jay Fisher here. And today guys, uh, we're gonna do something that we've been wanting to do for a while. And finally I said, you know what? I think it's time. I'm pretty sure I kind of got enough knowledge with fishing uh, to be able to go out there and, you know, at least just test the waters. But uh, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, we're gonna be heading to the Skyway Fishing Pier. Uh, we're actually gonna have to throw back though to, to last night because uh, I ended up going last night and uh, this is the next day, but I really wanted to explain to you guys my setup because, uh, you know, some people go get this impression of the Skyway that because it's such a big pier and, you know, a big bridge that you can't really take a small setup or anything to catch any of the species out there. But um, I did. I just wanted to let you guys know what I'm using just because even myself, I was under the impression that I was going to need a bigger setup or, uh, you know, something real heavy just in case. And don't get me wrong. If you do hook up on something, you know, a giant, one of their uh, pier giants, they do have them out there. You're probably going to struggle, but, uh, you know, it all depends on what you're targeting and like i said it is salt water so you might get hit by something crazy and hey at that point you know you you just gotta uh hope for the best i guess <laughs> and, but you'll probably end up losing a big fish especially if you don't have a pier net which is something i also don't have but uh this was actually a very last minute trip uh, i did not expect to do this last night but hey i just told myself you know what uh we have nothing better to do let's go do some fishing so all i really had was frozen bait so even then you know my chances were even lower to catch anything decent but hey guys you're you know how fishing is with a little bit of luck you can always get it done and let's just say guys the reason i'm out here is because uh we're by the fillet table and we got something that we're gonna catch and cook later. So stay tuned for that. And uh, yeah, let me show you guys this setup. So yeah guys, I actually brought this setup out the other day. Uh, I've pretty much been using this with all my live bait. It's kind of like my live bait setup. I have my artificial ones and then this is the one I use for live bait. So it's just a Pen Fierce 3 4,000 guys. So it's a 4,000 size reel. And I have 15 pound uh, braid. And then I have a 20 pound fluorocarbon leader. I got about, I don't know, what is that? maybe about three feet of it so just one of these tiny split shots i tie it together with the uh fg knot it's hard to see it really but you guys can kind of tell that there's a a knot there it's a fg knot uh you know for the species that i was targeting i use this small j hook i believe it's a size two this is a this is just a medium ugly ugly stick guys medium uh power not medium heavy just medium and yeah this is what i used last night so anyways uh let's take it back to last night so you guys can see exactly what we were targeting and what we ended up catching all right guys well welcome to today's adventure and today we're tackling the skyway pier and as you guys can tell here it was a packed night here i mean I thought it was going to be a little bit packed, but we ended up waiting in this line a good half an hour to 45 minutes. So you're going to see it got dark pretty quick. All right, guys. Well, we're pretty much just going to start off fishing here around all these pilings. There's a bunch of them, guys. Uh, you know, it's pretty packed today, so it's a weekend night. It's super packed. We'll see if we can get to a couple of them. But yeah, guys, I really just have like a medium setup with a little 4000 uh, Pen Fierce reel. Uh, you know, I'm not too sure if this is going to be suitable for the pier, but hey, we're going to test it out. Um, but I got a bunch of frozen bait just ready to pretty much cast around every single piling I see. We're just out here fishing with frozen bait guys for whatever bites. Hopefully we can get something to take home. Uh, I'm really hoping for some snapper. Um, but hey, we'll see what we get guys. Like I said, I'm not picky. Uh, oh. oh man, I had a really good bite there. <sighs> oh no, it took my uh, bait. Let's get back in there guys. It seems like this piling is kind of uh, good. That's the first cast, so hey, let's get back in there with some more frozen bait and see if we can get some. We got a uh, cut bait and we also got frozen shrimp, so let's get in there and see what happens. There we go, guys. I finally got something. What do we got here? Of course, little pinfish. Hey, you want to throw a pinfish on your line? You do? All right, we're about to cast this pinfish back out there. Hey, it's not your lucky day today. We have a nice setup, so. Let's get this guy out there live. Who knows? Maybe a grouper will bite. But yeah, let's go, guys. So there's definitely some kind of wildlife out here. Like I said, it's just pinfish, but hey, we got something. Let's get him out there. All right, let's go. 
a buddy of mine might throw him on a line live. It's either that or he's gonna wait, just kind of chunk him, like uh, throw fillets of him out. Let's see if we can get another one though. I'm really hoping to get some kind of snapper, but hey, a pinfish is okay. I'll take that for now. It's getting pretty windy. That was kind of under the, the pier here, so let's just go again. I apologize because it's kind of dark. I thought there was gonna be more lighting around here, but really there isn't, and the wind is pretty crazy. I think I already got took here. Must be Pinfish Central here. Oh, yep. Oh, they definitely took me already. All right, let's get some more uh, fish out there. See if we can catch something else. All right, so my buddy has somewhat of a medium heavy uh, setup. And uh, he actually put that pinfish on there live. If it goes crazy, you guys will be seeing whatever we catch. We'll find out. I'm just gonna keep fishing though. Hopefully one of those pinfish end up being a little snapper or something. Let's see. Let's go right back under the bridge. And yeah, uh, we threw that pinfish on a heavier setup and we were just gonna let it sit there on that heavy setup and hope uh, that we eventually heard that real screaming. And also, uh, I wanted to say that a lot of people tell you to cast towards this older pier, which is that pier that's right in front of me, that structure you see. That's, uh, I guess, the old pier, uh, the old Skyway Fishing Pier. And now the one I'm standing on is the new one. So you really can't get to it. But it's been there for so long that the fish are just always around it. And also, though, don't forget that throwing under the pier that you're standing on is also just as a... Uh, as good you know it's the same thing it's the same kind of structure so if you're not getting the bites at, towards that one always try to cast under you too and you never know guys that's i think that's where i got the uh pinfish that i had just got to bite right there but again like i said sometimes you're limited like i was this night um it was really packed so i really didn't have too much uh area to fish myself because you know other people were already fishing it and i actually noticed that most people fish the other side of the pier so basically out into the bay i don't know how good that would be especially if you don't have live bait but i decided to try it here as you guys are going to see and i just was casting a few times trying to see if you know test my luck maybe the fish were on this side and not on the other side but uh, i didn't have too much faith in it because there's not that much structure but anyways i ended up going back and guys i got another one got something else guys what else i got here <laughs> it's another little pinfish. This one's perfect size. Hey, this one's even better size. <laughs> another little pinfish. Let's get back in there. That's two pinfish. I mean, hey, it's just pinfish, but we are tossing the pinfish out on a heavier line, so I'm not upset that we're getting a pinfish. Let's see if we can uh get something a little better though on this cup bait. You know, I heard the snapper will eat this cup bait. I just got to throw it in the right spot. Not to mention, it might not be out here this late. I don't know for a fact, honestly. I'm just out here trying it, guys. You know, just a fun trip out here. Let's see. Get on tango. There we go. It seems like those pinfish are biting right under the bridge too. So it's not like I'm going far. I'm just doing it right under. Hoping that there's a snapper down there, but it seems like it's just pinfish. And yeah, after only catching pinfish for the first hour of being here, I really did expect to only end up uh, hooking up on those. And I was fine with that guys, cause you guys know, I go out just to have fun. But guys, when I least expected it, this happened. Oh, it's feeling a little heavy here. I'm not too sure if I feel something. Oh, guys, we got another one. What do we got here? We got something nice. It's hard to get a species. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> we got it. Guys, we got the mangrove. Come on. It might be keeper. Let's go. Look at that, guys. That might be a keeper. Let me measure this guy up. Come on. All right, buddy, let it go. Gotta watch out with this guy's teeth. I got the measuring tape out. Come on, please. 
Just do it for me one time. Oh, yes. Dude, this guy's 11. Let's go. Uh, we got we to gotta keep her mangrove. Come on. Let's go. Super pumped. I was just throwing some cup bait out here and he actually bit. Let's freaking go. We're about to bleed this guy out. Get him in the box. All right, let's get this guy in the box. Come on. We're doing the catch and cook now. Let's freaking go, guys. We got to keep her snapper out here. Hey, let's keep fishing. You never know, guys. We might be able to hook up on a couple more. Uh, like I said, I did not expect even to take one home. So just to be able to get one, uh, keep her one, I'm super pumped for that. Let's freaking go, guys. Out here having a blast. Uh, hey, it's a super late night. We just decided to come out here because, you know, I had nothing much to do tonight. And I said, you know what? Let's just go fishing. And uh, the one of the only spots that I know that's kind of good for night fishing is this area. Again, I didn't really know what was going to run right now. Not many people have caught anything to, uh, around me, so I'm pretty sure I got kind of lucky, but hey, let's keep fishing, guys, and you never know. We might hook up on another one. But yeah, let's get back in there. <laughs> let's freaking go, guys. I just got it on the free line uh, rod, too. I know that was out of nowhere. I wasn't catching anything for a minute, but hey, let's go. The snapper are here even at night. <laughs> Come on. Let me get this guy back down there, see if we can get another one, guys. We already got one, though. That's all that matters. We're getting a snapper sandwich today. Come on. Let's see. Maybe we'll get him riled up. I will say right before that, I had a bunch of uh, um, greenback heads that I just was cutting up. I just decided to chunk them out. So maybe they got a little bit kind of like chummed up. Whew. Come on, guys. Super pumped about that. <laughs> that was instantly a different type of bite, though, for real. Like the pinfish bites were way different. That guy bit super fast. It's been so long since I caught me a keeper uh, mangrove. I didn't even know, like just by looking at him, I wasn't sure if it was the right size. I had to well measure him. But hey, they're biting right here, right off the pier, guys. So hey, if you guys are, uh, you know, around this area, you might want to come out here and just test it out. You guys got some cup bait or anything of that sort. Still got this. Like I said, this is just a little 4,000 reel with a medium uh, ugly stick. Right now we're pitching it under the pier, but you know, I, I want to say where I caught that guy was not under. It was definitely uh, right over, like right down here. So let's go guys. Super pumped. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I really had like almost no hope for catching anything because we've been here for a good hour, hour and a half. So to be able to hook up on a main, keeper mangrove is super dope. I haven't seen anybody else hook up either. That's the craziest part. I really did not expect to get that. When I felt that bite, I thought for sure I wasn't gonna, it wasn't gonna be a keeper. Hey, it was. <laughs> so now we got some snapper to take home. Come on. Well, there you have it, guys. Just like that, the night uh, completely changed and I was able to catch something that I could actually take home and uh, enjoy for dinner, you know, which was what, kind of my goal when I was for going out here. I just didn't really expect it to happen at night. But uh, again, I had some spare time and I told myself, you know what, let's just get out there and uh, spend some time on the water and hopefully we can make something happen. But um, I will say it was definitely a grind, guys. Most of the people that you see fishing, they're, they're in a chair and they're just casting out their bait and just waiting. And that's okay if that's the kind of style of fishing you want to do. But um, definitely I had to move from piling to piling. And uh, people started leaving throughout the night, you know, because of course, you know, like I said, nobody was catching anything. So you just have to keep moving and uh, testing out different ones. Like I said, you, you kind of got to test every single one of these pilings until you get a decent bite. Once you start getting a decent bite, guys, stay there because uh, snapper, uh, once you start feeding them, they pretty much like to stick around. Here, the wind kind of picked up so it is a little more rough than it was when I got here but it's not too far off oh man I can't believe I was able to catch that here even at night so uh, we'll be taking that guy home and 
you know, I probably won't clean them tonight because it's already late. It's probably already 10 p.m. Uh, we'll probably clean them up in the morning and have some uh, snapper for lunch, guys. Man, I'm super pumped. <laughs> I can't believe coming out the Skyway and for the first time and actually hooking up on uh, a keeper snapper. Although, like I said, I will say they say snapper is one of the easiest species to target here. But still, I definitely recommend if you guys, uh, even if you don't know how to fish too well, this is the easiest way of fishing, guys. It's just a little hook on my, uh, my rod and some frozen shrimp, and I'm just casting it out. Frozen shrimp or frozen bait. We're just throwing it out here along these, uh, every single one of these rock pilings here just to see if there's anything hanging out. And uh, we were able to get a snapper, so hey, if you guys are... Oh, guys, we got another one. Who got here? must have ate it. Oh, it's just a pinfish. <laughs> Another pinfish, guys. This is the third pinfish of the day. We already kept two. We'll probably throw this guy back. If I knew somebody out here that was fishing with a heavy setup, maybe I'll give it to them, but uh, it doesn't seem like anybody's out here really using them, especially not around me. So, let's throw this guy back. Little pinfish perfect bait fish for out here honestly if i had a heavier setup but i really don't uh like i said i'm just out here with a tiny j hook just casting around these pilings hoping for some snapper so let's see guys i'm not too sure how much longer i'll be here either i don't know how lucky that is honestly um I might have been a lucky bite on it because it's pretty late. Like I said, I didn't even know that snapper really ate this late. I just just uh, decided to risk it and come out here. Uh, we're going to see if we can get some more, guys. And as always, guys, that's something that I definitely recommend. Just go out there and, you know, wing it like I did. You never know. You could always end up hooking up. You know, I get a lot of comments of people telling me like, oh man i don't know how you caught that i go there all the time and uh you know there's definitely a luck a uh, little bit of luck involved in, in fishing but it's definitely time like you know time and effort put into doing it um you know sometimes like i say you guys only see what i post in a video uh this was definitely my first time ever going to skyway though so that's what i mean it's just a little bit of luck is all it took a little bit of luck and some elbow grease honestly and again i did wait until i was a little more knowledge on fishing to come out here and fish but it doesn't, you know, it doesn't take that much. You just have to cast your bait around those structures like I told you guys. And you're more than less likely going to catch yourself a snapper. Now, you are going to battle those pinfish because they're always there. I hear that that's probably what most people end up catching. And hey, if you're in it for just catching big fish, hey, maybe do a little more research and you'll be fine. But yeah, guys, as you've seen, we only got one keeper snapper. I will say I probably had a few more snapper bites, but I missed them. Uh, they were decent bites. And uh, you guys seen we battled the pinfish. Like I told you guys, they're always here. But it had actually been about an hour since we got our last uh, pinfish bite. So I basically decided to just grab my stuff, pack up, and get out of here. All right, guys. Well, we're pretty much going to get out of here. I didn't really much get any more bites. I tried both sides of the bridge out into the bay and then right here under this up here. And... Uh, Hey, we're fortunate enough to catch that one snapper. I guess there's not that many fish biting right now. A bunch of pinfish, uh, which we actually casted out on a heavier setup, but didn't get any bites tonight. But hey guys, we're able to catch dinner and uh, that's pretty much all I really wanted to come out here and catch. So hey, it's a good uh, trip to me. I most likely see you guys in the morning by the fillet table. And hey, we're gonna uh, catch, uh, clean and cook that uh, snapper. Finally, I finally was able to come out here and catch a keeper snapper. I haven't been able to do that anywhere really. So to finally be able to catch my first one at a new spot feels super good guys but yeah let's uh keep fishing if we don't catch nothing else i'll see you guys back at the fillet table all right guys well as you guys uh could tell last night it was pretty late out at the skyway uh like i said it was actually just like a little last minute trip i didn't expect to go but i had some frozen bait in the freezer and i said you know what let's just go and test it out i've never gone before and um well you guys can tell from this uh we were actually able to bring something home a little uh it was a little over 11 inches a snapper and uh, guys you guys know i've been targeting this so you already know i was super pumped to catch this guy i fillet him up because uh i've been telling you guys that i want to make a snapper sandwich this guy is the perfect size for it so you know for snapper all i do is i cut right here behind the uh their fin you know i only have one so i'm really trying to keep as much meat as i can 
and uh, I always tell you guys I bleed my fish I definitely bleed the snapper I don't think it'll taste too much different but uh I just I, you know in my head I'm just like it's real easy to bleed them you know you just have to put something through their gills puncture them basically and then uh you'll have a less bloody fillet so yeah there you go guys like I said I just outlined them now you just search for that uh backbone you'll hear it too and you just slice down on it like I said I'm trying real hard to not miss much meat here because I only got one of them <laughs> and uh, I did try uh, more and more to catch these another a couple more out there guys but I uh, wasn't lucky enough I will say though I'm the only person who I seen catch anything in general so hey <laughs> gotta take what I can get I guess right and there comes the train and the dogs look at that guys beautiful beautiful fillet just super white meat you know what I mean guys snapper is just so good the quality of the meat is just for his, I, you know I always say it's it's one of the easier fish to target but as you guys can tell I've been struggling to catch them myself so I guess I can't say that too much we got a couple of pin bones right here Let's cut those out let me uh, do the same thing to the other side guys and I'll show you guys how it looks at the end all right guys well there you have it look at that and you guys can just tell you know there's very little bloodline in this I don't know if you guys have ever caught a snapper and you see a lot more bloodline like I said bleeding your fish out guys it really eliminates that um, or at least minimizes it because sometimes it won't fully eliminate it but hey you guys see it this looks super good just like that guys but yeah let's uh, get inside the house now and basically like i said i'm just gonna uh, uh, kind of bread them up with some fish fry fry them up and make a snapper sandwich guys but yeah stay tuned for that because it's gonna be delicious all right guys well as you guys can see we're in the kitchen now and uh, we got the, the spread pretty much out so this is just uh, all-purpose flour we got the uh, fish fry right here which is my favorite uh Louisiana Cajun and then in this bag here it's our binder which for today we're gonna be using this uh, buffalo sauce and uh, basically what I'm just gonna do is I'm just gonna put the uh, the fillets first in the flour then in the binder then in some fish fry and then they're gonna take a little hot oil bath here <laughs> so, all right well like I said so you're gonna put it in the flour boom now we're gonna put it in the binder fish fry boom all right first one's ready Put this one in there. you can coat them as much as you want some people actually will double dip it and then coat it again uh, I don't really need that much breading on them so I'm not gonna do all that but yeah guys there you go perfectly coated all right we got it oil nice and hot maybe even a little too hot we'll find out in a bit <laughs> Oh, no perfect oh guys it smells so good but yeah that's just uh my my way of preparing this like i said you know some people um uh, the binder thing you know it's a little different using uh buffalo sauce but let me tell you guys it just gives it a perfect taste some people use mustard egg wash you know there's multiple uh binders it's just my preferred one but yeah let's uh let this sit here for a bit flip it over and it'll be ready to put on a sandwich Give it a flip. Look at that, guys. Ooh, I really wish you guys could smell it. Oh, man. It doesn't, uh, you know what I mean, guys? I caught this guy last night out there, and uh, little did he know he was going to come home and be a sandwich. <laughs> Once this is ready, I'll show you guys how I'm going to put the sandwich together, and we'll get to the dinner table and enjoy it. All right, guys. Well, we just got him off the oil. Uh, I actually don't have sliced cheese. I don't know why. I must have ran out. I didn't realize it. So I'm just going to put some shredded cheese here in between them while they're hot. And I'm going to stack them on each other so that they just melt, you know, melt down and uh, pretty much uh, we'll kind, of, kind of just melt into each other. So yeah, let me chop up some uh, fresh ingredients that I'm going to throw on this and we'll get back at it. All right, guys. So basically, um, you know, pretty much whatever spreading you you prefer. But uh, I love me some of this uh, mayo racha sauce. So I'll put it on both sides of the bun myself. We got to get the snapper on there and then I'm going to do the uh, onions on this side. I use purple onion. I don't know if there's really a taste difference. Uh, there probably is, but um, I've just always preferred it, I guess. I've got some lettuce and boom, 
Oh man, guys. Oh man, guys. Look at that. So yeah, let me just grip, get a little side of chips. I got some potato chips. I'm gonna put on here, and I'll see you guys at the dinner table. Oh man, guys. I tell you what. Don't look like much, but whew, this is probably gonna be the tastiest uh, quick snack I've done in a good minute. So let's get to a uh, trying this snapper sandwich because I really can't wait, guys. <laughs> oh man. Oh man, guys. Look at that. Little everything in the first bite. I'm just gonna go in guys because I don't know if you guys can tell but uh I'm super excited for this uh catch and cook I haven't had a snapper sandwich in probably about I don't know six months now uh you know they're saying the snapper are finally starting to move back in shore so I guess you'll be seeing a lot of this uh coming up shortly on my channel hopefully if we can uh, find them but yeah let's go guys look at that oh man a little everything and we're in mmm <laughs> oh that is so good let me tell you guys that's a 10 out of 10 no matter what in my books you just can't beat it you really can't beat it i snapper is literally one of my favorite uh tasting fish already for to actually be able to go somewhere kind of and for the first time too at that um with no guys it was like this trip that I took, it was just like, it happened like that. I was sitting around at the house, not much to do. And I was like, you know what? I haven't had gone night fishing in a good while. And uh, like I said, Florida has been scorching hot in the daytime. So I kind of told myself, you know what? Maybe at night the fish are going to be biting or active still. So uh, we decided to go out there. And again, don't get me wrong. It wasn't the best day. And you can't really uh, judge it off of just one day. Um, my first time ever fishing the Skyway Pier, uh, that was the south side, because uh, that's the one closer to me. So I went over there, and um, I didn't even have bait, guys. I just grabbed the frozen uh, bait that that fisherman gave me last time, the one, the same one that gave me the snapper. I just grabbed that bait, and I just uh, was like, let's just go. And as you guys can tell, it was super packed. I mean, I don't know if it, there's always a line. Not only were we kind of fighting time we were also you know crowded by people so we found the first spot that looked okay like i said i guess the the old fishing pier is what runs alongside the new one now and uh you know everybody says just kind of to cast some baits around that structure and that's kind of where the fish hide most of the time especially the snapper so that's exactly what i did you guys seen it i know it's kind of dark in the video i apologize for that uh i kind of thought there was going to be more lighting but fortunately you can still pretty much see you know a little bit but not a lot so i apologize for that but uh hey guys we went out and got it done uh you guys seen just a bunch of pinfish really at first uh i think i caught what three or four pinfish uh we actually tossed one out on a heavy setup that we had hoping that something were, were to eat it at night i mean i think for the most part we were you know, we were lucky that we didn't get, uh, get bit by a shark because I bet the shark run that pier around that time. Uh, but yeah, we didn't get nothing on the pinfish, unfortunately. So um, I just kept casting the baits. And what do you know, guys? There was a hungry snapper waiting uh, to eat some bait. And he, he chose mine. <laughs> this time I was only able to catch one. But now I know that they're out there. And if, if guys, if I got one to bite at night, I guarantee you if I go in the daytime there with the same bait or maybe some live ones, I could probably limit out finally. Uh, so yeah, we're probably going to be doing that here shortly. If you guys uh, enjoyed the episode or want to see me do that, let me know down in the comments. Uh, shoot me a thumbs up. Maybe hit that subscribe button if you guys are feeling uh, nice. And I really appreciate it. Like I said, guys, I really truly appreciate all the support recently. You guys have helped my channel grow so much. And uh, I just can't say thanks enough. So again, thank you guys uh, for every single one of you. Even if you just view my videos, I really appreciate that. You know, if you drop a comment, that's twice the uh, the appreciation towards you guys. Uh, every single one of you too. And a few people who comment under every video. And guys, I just want to say, you guys are awesome. That's all I got to say, you know. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, hopefully you guys have been enjoying the content. Like I said, uh, you guys know fishing's fishing. So, sometimes I'm not that lucky. Sometimes it's, you know, it's tough to even get a fish. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, I just wanted to say, I hope you guys have a blessed week. I hope you guys have the best luck out there fishing. Remember, guys, always, always, always stay positive. Keep them good vibes going. Uh, I upload twice a week on my channel. So I hope to see you guys back here next time. But until then, guys, peace.